Can you blow your own sail? It's a weird science effect that boggles a lot of people's minds. A couple weeks ago, I did the airplane on the treadmill. Can it take off video? And that one seemed to get a lot of y'all riled up. So I figured, why not do it again? Another age old internet science conundrum is can you blow your own sail? And this one's honestly more interesting to me than the Boeing on the conveyor belt. Because this one has a bit of a twist. Now, blowing your own sail is imagery that's been in popular culture for as long as there's been sails. We've seen cartoon characters <laughs> blow their own sailboats along. YouTube videos of people blowing themselves along on skateboards or in mop buckets with a leaf blower blowing into an umbrella. And this is one of those things, like with the plane on the conveyor, often at first glance you will think the wrong thing. You may think, of course, you should be able to blow your own sail. If wind blows something along using a sail and there's no wind, so you're just providing your own, shouldn't it work the same? And in a strict physics sense, the answer is absolutely fucking not. No, it, it cannot. And that's because whatever you're using to blow, whether that's a leaf blower, a big ass fan, your overachieving lungs, every action has an equal and opposite reaction because of, you know, physics. It means that that wind, you know, that thrust that's being created is pushing whatever's creating it, the leaf blower, the big ass fan, your big ass lungs in the opposite direction. And then that thrust is hitting that sail and that sail is being pushed forward by that thrust. So your thrust generator, which is attached to your boat or your vehicle, is being pushed backwards and your sail, which is being attached to your boat or your vehicle, is being pushed forward at an equal rate. Ugh, so it's like getting up in the back of your pickup like this. I can push as hard as I want all day. And while I may push the cab off because this thing is really rusty, the fact that my feet are in the bed pushing backwards just as hard as my hand is on the cab pushing forwards means the truck isn't gonna go anywhere. Now standing on the ground pushing on the back of the truck, I could push it forward. I'm not going to because I'm way too lazy to do that for this demonstration. In the same sense, a fan or a leaf blower on the ground could blow a sail for a distance until it got too far away where that wind was no longer pushing it. So that's it, right? The physics say you can't blow your own sail. There's nothing else to talk about. That's all there is to it. And that's a weird science effect that boggles my mind. Well, not so fast physics. We're about to break you. Not really. We're going to abide completely by the laws of physics, but you can absolutely blow your own sail. And not only can you blow your own sail, we do more or less in everyday applications. See, now in this situation, just because the thrust has hit the sail doesn't mean that that thrust entirely disappears. That energy still needs to go somewhere. That air needs to go somewhere. But for the basic physics problem, that doesn't really change anything, does it, bud? Because without some adjustments to the parameters of the physics problem, the problem just basically views the sail as a wall. So when the thrust hits that wall, it is evenly distributed in all directions, going up, down, and out to each side, meaning any thrust hitting that wall and being ejected out into the world is being counteracted by thrust going the opposite way, keeping everything perfectly stationary. Now, if you were to angle that sail or that wall or angle the way that the thrust was being shot at it, that would change things. Now the thrust would be coming in and being deflected off to one way and that would cause your boat to spin. Still not going anywhere though, except in circles. But here's the thing is a sail is not a wall. A sail is curved. Now there is rigid sails, which are more like wings actually, but that's not what we're talking about. And we all know that. Because a sail or an umbrella and those other goofy examples are curved, that excess thrust that would have been shot straight out to the side, keeping it stationary is now directed backwards at a slight angle. If you're having trouble picturing it, think about your faucet water as the thrust or the wind coming off of the fan or the leaf blower. And it's the difference between washing a plate where the water hits it and just squirts off off to the sides and you stay dry or washing a spoon that you turned the wrong direction. You know, the moment when a spoon is like, oh, you think I'm dirty and need a wash? Well, right back at you, bud. Same exact concept. And because some of that thrust is redirected backwards again, that means that there is more thrust pushing the vehicle or the boat forward than backwards. And as a result, the vehicle or the boat can move forward. And you are, for all intents and purposes, blowing your own sail. Now, this would be a really stupid thing to do in most scenarios because it's highly inefficient. The vast majority of your thrust is wasted fighting itself and you're using just a few percent of it for actual forward motion. You'd be way better off turning your fan or your leaf blower around and using that to blow you along like a propeller or a jet engine. Because then at least all of your thrust is being used to move you along. But that's not the question. The question is, can you blow your own sail? And the answer is you can. And believe it or not, it is not always a dumb application and there are some practical applications for it that you yourself have probably experienced. You're probably not going to see anybody set up a big fan on the deck of the USS Constitution, but the concept of using thrust to blow your own sail really isn't that different than some other more modern applications, which is jet powered vehicles, jet boats, jet skis, jet planes. The thrust they use to push themselves through the air or the water is the same thing that we would be using to blow our own sail on a sailboat in this scenario. And if you've ever noticed on a commercial jet when it lands, it sounds like they rev up the 
engines, which seems kind of counterintuitive. Well, they do rev up their engines, and that's because they are using reverse thrusters to blow their own sail to slow down their plane. They're clamshell reverse thrusters that look like this. They basically just Mary Poppins their ass open into a little umbrella shape, and that redirects a lot of that thrust that would be going backwards, forwards, and it uses the engines to slow down. Now, if you've ever driven a jet ski or a jet boat, they either have reverse or they don't. But if they do have reverse, they also achieve that by blowing their own sail in the exact same way. They have these little umbrella shaped cups that flip down over the jet nozzle and redirects all of that thrust, pushing the jet ski or jet boat backwards. So in theory, especially in the spirit of the question, blowing your own sail is exactly like picking yourself up by your bootstraps. It can't be done. But in practicality, in reality, it can be done. And there are practical ways to do it. However, none of those are going to involve an efficient form of travel. It's only really going to be for backing up or slowing down. But the fact that if you brandish a big enough blower at your umbrella or your brig, you can bolster enough blowback to budge by a bit, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.